If strong credentials were a guarantee of investment, our next entrepreneurs would be laughing all the way to the bank. Team GB triathlete Linwyn Harrison is here with her business partner Rachel Smith and their sports recovery drink. They're not just here to take part, they're here to win an investment. Hello, my name is Rachel Smith and this is my business partner, Linwyn Harrison. Our company is called Nourish Me Now and we have created a natural sports recovery drink. We've come to the Dragon's Den today to ask for £75,000 for 15% of our business. Nourish Me Now is a natural, fresh sports recovery drink. Essentially, this allows you to rehydrate, repair and refuel after you've exercised. And what that means in <coughs> real terms is that you can train again sooner or you can ameliorate some of the negative effects of exercise like muscle soreness. I came up with the idea around about three years ago when I got a Team GB selection for triathlon in my age group. I tried just about every single recovery product there was out there and just didn't like any of them. The taste, the nuisance of mixing powders up and the synthetic nature primarily of what I seemed to be taking on. Um, <clears throat> My background is I'm a physiotherapist and I have a biology degree from Sheffield University so I knew a fair amount about the science about recovery and I essentially made my own. Since then we've worked with um, Paralympians and elite athletes who help us promote our passionately held belief that natural products support an athlete and generally the public just as well as anything synthetic. So our philosophy basically is no chemicals, just nature, you can't lose. Thank you. Any questions? Would you like to try some? Yes, please. Yes, okay. please. <laughs> yeah. An invigorating pitch from smooth-talking entrepreneurs Rachel Smith and Linwyn Harrison. They want £75,000 for a 15% stake in their business. What taste is that? Raspberry, mint and lime. Deborah Meaden is first off the starting block to question the sporty entrepreneurs. So, great backstory. Really interesting to hear and, you know, that whole thing about you making things for yourself. You, were you in Team GB? You I are still in am, Team yes. G yeah, GB. I still am. I'm going out in June to compete in the European Championships. So, that's fantastic. Um, so, back to the business. And, and at the moment, what is the company turning over? Well, in the first year, which was only very small, um, it was £1,800, um, and to date it's 9000 And where are most of those sales coming from? The indoor climbing market. Yeah. Climbers have absolutely loved this drink because it's low fat, it's healthy, um, it's not full of chemicals. What's its uniqueness? You know, that what it is fresh and natural. There that no it's fresh and natural. Yeah. Are there pres preservatives in this? Nothing, no. Are, are, are the uh, fruits used, are they organic? No, they're not organic. No, they're not organic. No, they're not organic, but then they're, they're all natural. All they're the natural, natural and any chemicals or anything no. within that. Although there will be if they're not organic. There will because there, there will are, be residual. I think in the, some of the fruit juices that we use, there's citric acid in them, but we're very careful about who we source and what concentrate. We also use some um, concentrates as well, and we're very careful about who we've been able to source that from and the milk is fresh and the yogurt is fresh we do have a two-week shelf life but what how we also work with a lot of the athletes who buy our drinks direct from us is that the drinks can be frozen could, could I just say I'm um, hi I'm Kelly I mean I train every day the mm. problem I have with this and I want to like it mm. is that I'm not crazy about dairy product let me finish you've also got you're not using organic fruits You've got a lot of sugar in here, and I'm really anti-sugar. Mm -hmm. And if I was inventing something for the sports world and for nutrition, mm -hmm. sugar would not even be so on the back. So how would you get your carbohydrate into a drink, then, if you're not going to well, use sugar? you sugars? have natural sugar, or you have Which agave. Is, yes. But that's where the natural sugars come yeah. from. That's the, our sugar in there is lactose, so it's milk sugar. 
it seems as though you haven't been able to create the, the perfect storm you would have liked in terms of ticking all of the boxes. There are things where it's not fully organic, you know, it's got a it's short not, shelf life. It's not quite... The organic thing's really you... interesting because what we've tried to do is create a, a, a drink that is relative back to recovery all the time. But there isn't any evidence against organic and recovery. You cannot say that organic isn't better than than. Oh, we're not saying not. that organic isn't better for you. We're just saying it when it relating back to, to recovery. recovery. Well, 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 what if the, the evidence thing. said? What if the evidence said pouring a load of chemicals into there made it more effective? Is that, would you do that? The evidence isn't there. No, no but what if it no, did? No, because I I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want that in my body. intense scrutiny of the product's claimed health benefits. Will industry expert Duncan Bannatyne be the dragon to aid the entrepreneur's recovery? Where's your market, Rachel? Where are you going to sell this product? Because you're not selling it now. We can sell it in gyms and we can sell it in smaller... Uh, so cl the climbing industry is well, growing. I, I own the fifth biggest gym company in the UK. So what happened when you approached us? We haven't approached you yet because we, want, we wanted to right, do so. was concentrate on the Sheffield <laughs> no. area. Oh, so you're talking about gyms in the Sheffield area. <laughs> you haven't approached the chain? No, we haven't. No, well, we've chains in Sheffield, but we haven't gone outside of that because we wanted to make sure... Which gym chains did you approach in Sheffield? Virgin. Right. And, um Fitness First. Fitness and... First, yeah. So, did they tell you that they had a head office buyer and you had to go through the head office? Yes. Yes. Did you approach the central buyer? Yeah, yeah. Virgin we did, yes, and yeah. he said that... they. Th because we gave them um, the team some drinks to try and they thought the drinks yeah. were fabulous but they felt like it con conflicted with the Powerade and yeah. they weren't allowed um, in terms of their contract to take anything on. So these are all the problems. You can sell it in a climbing frame at the end of your street, in a little gym at the end of your street. That's easy. But making it a big business where you send out to people any gyms and premises that you have never visited and don't have time to visit is very, very different. And where you've got to deal with a, a buyer at head office who's... who's who can't go and check the shelf life and say, oh, actually, we had to throw 10% out. So I'm sorry I can't invest in this because I think you're both lovely. But I'm happy to say, I'm sorry, but I'm out. The entrepreneurs have lost a key dragon in health club owner Duncan Bannatyne. Now, Piers Linney has some concerns with the product's visual appeal. I don't, I don't get the, the brand. I don't like the brand or the bottle. It doesn't really make me want to drink it. It looks a bit... I mean, you're saying it's a natural product, you don't get that feeling from it. It looks, so, it look, it looks quite the opposite, actually. Well, it looks like I a bottle of chemicals. If I look like drain cleaner. <laughs> OK. <laughs> if I'm honest. So we started off with a clear bottle. Uh, our vision was that. But because of the, uh, the dairy the and the, the fruit in there, what happens, it separates. it separates. So it doesn't look very attractive on the shelf, and that's why we went down for the opaque route. But the fundamental issue is, You've got a product that's very hard to take to market in a market that is highly competitive. Although you want this to work, it's not something I would invest in, so I'm afraid I'm out. That's OK, okay thank, thank you. you. Um, I need to tell you where I am because I think it's great that you've created a product. Fantastic from an athlete's perspective, you're looking for something. This, um, sadly, unless you compromise on your product and the ingredients, it's doomed. Um, it's too short a lifespan in terms of two weeks. It, it's, it's impossible that any supermarket chain will even consider it. So that's I'm out. Fine. Okay, that's Thank fine. You. Thank you for your time. This is not something that I would invest in. Um, because of the content, because I don't quite believe in, in what you're saying in terms of recovery. Um, but I might be a novice and I might not know enough, but it's just my gut, which is what I'm going to follow. That's fine. Yeah. Um, the evidence is, is there, so, yeah. Um, but I wish you luck. Any two women that walk in here and have a great idea and come up with it and try and sell it, I admire, but I'm not going to invest for Thank that you. reason okay. I'm out. Thank you. Four dragons are out of the race. Will Deborah Meaden be an unlikely saviour for the rapidly declining pitch? There's me. The product looks great. The colours of it look great. Um, much more important, it tastes great. But I think you are going to struggle getting the national distribution that I think you've got the dream of. So I'm sorry, I'm out. Okay. okay.
Thank you so much for your Thank time you. and your advice. Right. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all over for the likeable entrepreneurs as their fitness drink fails to get over the finish line in the race to invest. They leave the den with nothing.